Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Purple Grizzly here. And, you know, I got some Modern Warfare 3 for you guys to watch. I also have a pretty funny and uh, hopefully interesting story to share with you. Um, I don't know. You may like it. You may not. But whatever. Watch the video. And uh, I will just go in my room and twist my nipples. Okay, that actually sounded a lot better in my head than it did on my computer. Um, so what's going on, guys? Purple Grizzly, and you know, I got a pretty funny story. Today, I'm going to be talking about a pretty darn epic prank war that I had three years ago um, with a friend of mine. So this story took place um, at a campsite up in Northern California, and you know, actually, like, I was just at this campsite this last weekend. Uh, for those of you who noticed I did not upload these last three to four days, it's because I've been at this campsite, like, doing some work with my youth group, serving others, because uh, it's what, what I like to do, it's, you know, it's a cool thing. And this, three years ago, it was actually, like, the same trip, we went up to there, and uh, did some, like, kitchen stuff, served food, um, cleaned things, it was, you know, it was a fun time. But during this trip, I had an epic prank war with my friend Zach. So at this current time, uh, we were freshmen in high school, and you know we were still in this immature phase. Heck, I'm mean, a little immature myself right now. I make jokes about um, what do I make jokes about? Cooking meth? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why I just said that, but whatever. Um, we were, you know, we were at this time where uh, we're still pretty immature and. Uh, I did not start this prank war. He did. He drew first blood. And while we're like cleaning this dining hall, sweeping floors, vacuuming, all that good stuff that Cinderella does uh, before she uh, broke out of her rightful place and um, escaped the kitchen. But we were doing all that kind of stuff, cleaning. And, uh, and Zach went around. He's like, you know what? I'm going to be Mr. Funny Guy. I'm going to go around rub honey. On all the staff members' faces, and you know, with our youth group, we have staff members, people who are older, more wise, and he chose to mess with them, you know, you, you know, mess with the tree, mess with the forest, and uh, he'd go around rubbing honey on faces, he did it to me through, he was just being a little, little rat, just, you know, it's, ah, uh, so I wanted to drown him in the bathtub, but not really, um, so I decided, you know, hey, you know what, I'm gonna team up with these staff members, we're gonna get him back, so I, I go around doing my own little mischievous things, I, I got my hands on a, um, a roll of duct tape, and you know what? Duct tape is hands down one of the best inventions ever. If uh, if I could ever like meet the guy that invented duct tape, I don't know if they are still alive, but I would like I'd shake their hand and kiss them all that. Um, but I got this duct tape right, and I took his pillow and and I uh, and I just duct taped it to the ceiling of our cabin that we were staying in, and it was really funny too because like for two days while we were there. He was sleeping without a pillow, but it was right above him, um, all the all the time, and he just he never looked up and saw it, and it was it was hilarious because he like didn't have a pillow when he was sleeping, and you know what? That sucks. Even though there's kids in Africa who don't have pillows, um, and uh, my heart goes out to them, and it was it was just funny. Um, so he uh, he's he noticed his pillow was gone. Obviously, uh, he knew that I took it, even though he didn't know where it was. Uh, so he started hiding things in mine, putting putting clothes in trash cans that I um, that I had, and, and it was like, oh man, you know what? What do I do? So I took his sleeping bag and I I just stuffed it full of garbage and I and I duct taped it around the bed, and he, it was really funny because he could not get into it. He couldn't undo the duct tape. He was a pretty small dude. And he wasn't you know too strong at the time, so he he couldn't do anything about it. And it was hilarious. So um, then he went to the point where uh, where he would. He took some soda, right, and he poured it in my bag uh, with with some of my stuff, and he got some stuff sticky and wet with soda. And the uh, the mistake that he made, which ultimately led to his downfall, was he did that to uh, one of the staff members because uh, he thought their bag was mine. But he also got mine too, which is like what. Uh, and so I I take all his stuff out. I go outside, and there's this really big dead tree, no leaves on it, and I just decorate the whole tree with his stuff. Um, really high and he was he was pretty short so he couldn't get any of it out and it was like oh I won finally um and this thing, this dead tree looked like a Christmas tree just with his crap it was like a it was like a Christmas tree 
for a thrift store. I don't know. Whatever, whatever analogy that I could conjure up, I don't know. Uh, so he thinks uh, he thinks he's gonna have the last two raw, and you know what? He um, what did he do? He he woke me up at like four in the morning or something like that. I don't remember. It was it was it, it was three years ago, like I said. Um, but the last day, right? So the staff member that um, he poured his like the soda in his bag happened to be the head staff member of this whole whole youth group and so uh, we got a whole bunch of people together picked up Zach one day and just you know just walked down to the lake and threw him in but I don't know this was a really short random commentary if you guys enjoyed it leave a like on the video and I will talk to you later peace